Welcome to this leading change video. The first thing for us to look at is whether change is important. Well, in 1950, the average Formula One pit stop time was 67 seconds. In 2022, it's just three seconds. This is one example of why change is essential in achieving competitive advantage in your market. Change is delivered through teams, but teams only change through great leadership. And the aim of this video is to help leaders avoid getting stuck in the pits when leading change. This is Joe. Joe is comfortable with his life. In fact, he's comfortable with being comfortable. Joe is comfortable with his morning routine. He has the same alarm every day. He works out after waking and looks forward to his morning coffee, which fully prepares him for a productive working day ahead. However, for Joe, we're making a change. We're removing the coffee. We're not telling Joe why. We're not selling him the benefits or listening to his thoughts. Just simply telling him that moving forward, he needs to change. You're probably thinking that removing the coffee isn't a work change, and you're right. But this is an example of how one small change to a person's comfortable, habitual routine in or outside of work can have a significant impact. Joe told us he was knocked out by the change. He couldn't bring himself to accept it. He felt like no one was willing to listen or support him. And therefore, guess what? After one day, he fell back to the same routine as before. Resistance to change, failing to achieve buy-in and not successfully landing a new change. Has this happened to you? It may not surprise you, but when we get comfortable, we don't like change. This is where awareness of this provides an opportunity for leaders. Introducing the Kubler-Ross Change Curve. This model defines the seven stages that are experienced by you and I when going through change. Stage one and two is the shock and denial stages. At these stages, we look for reasons to avoid the change and do everything we can to resist it. Stage three and four is frustration and depression. At this point, reality is set in that the change is here to stay and leads to low mood and a lack of motivation. Stage five is the experimental stage where we stop focusing on our comfortable past and start testing and exploring the changes. We're still cautious in this stage. Stage six is the decision in which we accept the change and start to embrace it. And we start to really understand and reap the benefits of the change. Stage seven is integration. This is when the change becomes everyday routine. The benefits of the change can be seen by all and many laugh about their initial resistance to the change. You may be thinking, okay, great. I can recognize the stages of change, but how can I lead this change within my team? Well, the good news is you don't have to start at stage one and go through every stage before finally arriving at integration. Through effective communication and leadership, you start your change at stage five and enjoy all of the benefits that come with change without the downsides at stages one to four. There are four steps in effectively leading change and jumping straight to stage five, experimenting. Firstly, it's important to communicate the change to colleagues, why it's important and how it will benefit them and any stakeholders. Secondly, is to listen to their questions and concerns. Being open and honest at this stage will lead to more effective buy-in as the change progresses. Thirdly, provide any training that is required to ensure everyone has the knowledge and skills to experiment with the change as soon as possible. And finally, it's important to praise small positive steps in moving towards the change. That's it for this session. We hope you found it useful. We hope you liked the Kubler-Ross Change Curve and now feel ready to lead change in your team.